Hello, my Aries people. So this is my reading for Aries for 2021. Aren't we so happy that 2020 is almost over? We can start a new year. Hopefully it'll be a lot better than this year has been. This year has been crazy on so many levels. hope that there will be a good change that's coming for this year. Um, so we have, first off, our full moon that is coming on the 29th, the 29th and the 30th. Um, the energy that everybody will have from then will be kind of like, um, it's an, it'll be an Audra, which you guys will feel um, very uh, like you have a project that you've been working on that sometimes you feel like it was like you're working really hard on this project and you can't seem to figure it out but once you do figure it out it's maybe you did figure it out for some of you and it's like you couldn't um, quite get past it was like once you got to do what you were wanting to do, then you started second guessing it. Kind of like, eh, well maybe not, maybe not, maybe that's not what I'm supposed to do. After your energy and your mind is something that you've been working and it's something that you've wanted for a long time, but yet now it's like, you're just like, oh, I don't know that that's really what I want to do. So. Um, just know that you're supposed to do it, even though you feel like, oh no, I'm not supposed to, or that you have like a fear of some sort. It is um, something that you're supposed to do. Just know that and just go strong and do it. For Aries, you guys are very um, straightforward. You go for what you want. Most of the time you guys don't think about what you're doing. You just do it. Um, but I mean, that's just the energy if you, depending on are you uh, Aries rising, are you, what other placements do you have? Do you have more of another um, astrological um, energy than, you know, Aries? So just know that whatever this project is, you're supposed to do it, okay? So just get it done. Don't, don't second guess it, just take it and go, okay? I mean, you've been working hard and knowing that you want to better your life. So I feel like that it's going to better your life, whatever it is. Okay, so this is your reading for this year. Um, I see that you guys are manifesting something um, and you have been manifesting. Like I told you about the moon, which that's the end of this year into the beginning of next year. Um, if you believe in the, the winter solstice, this is, solstice was the birth of the new sun, and um, that's the new beginning. So basically, we can already feel like this is a new beginning of our next year, okay? If that makes sense. But I feel like that you guys have a lot manifesting on uh, on your plate right now. You're, like, you're trying to get things done. You're manifesting, and I believe that you're going to celebrate once uh, you've done whatever it is that you're you've been planning to do you've been planning and manifesting this and now it's your wishes come true um, some of you once you do move on and go forward to whatever you've been working on um, I believe it'll be a transformation and it'll be a new beginning upon of course it'll be a new beginning but I feel like it's gonna be a transformation like you're gonna change into something that you have been wanting to do and I feel like it's gonna be spiritually okay um, I believe that maybe you you know might be balancing out your money and you might be worried about your money situation like you have I believe that the first of the year it's gonna be a little rough for you and you're gonna be kind of like dang you know like am I really supposed to do what I what what I meant to do you know this whatever it is but I believe that it's gonna bring you happiness and it's gonna bring you um, that family life that you have been needing that happiness within you that you need um, I feel like you're gonna have that peace and that 
it's like you're gonna be feeling equal out to um, who you want to be and, and feeling your own desire, okay? Um, and then in the middle of the year, I see maybe a lot of outdoors type energy, maybe camping or I don't know, building outside, whatever. I see a lot of outdoors-ish um, activities. I see you happy. I see uh, uh, people happy. I'm not sure if it's like your family, um, but I do see happiness and um, togetherness, spending time with the people that you love. Uh, I do see a woman here, a woman that is very passionate. She is a person that is could be an Aries as well. This could be you or it could be a mother or it could be um, a lady that is really important into your life. But I see that she is um, very um, important in your life right now uh, for this year. Um, and I believe that a lot of things that maybe maybe there's that woman that that Aries woman is going to have her wishes come true and you're going to whatever it is that you're gonna do is gonna satisfy her into her wishes and so it's something that she is wanting for you to do um, but I do see maybe a little bit of legal form here a little bit of uh, legal activity maybe it could be through it, it it has to do with legal papers. Um, it could be, let me, let me do, what is this legal activity here? Mm. It's a good legal activity, it's not bad, it's not bad. Um, ah, moving, some of you it could be for moving, um, it could be a job, it could be something that you're working on. Some of you are um, gonna be doing a lot of work on something. But I do tell you this, whatever this is, somebody is looking. They see you as a happy family and these, these people see you, somebody sees you as a happy family and they're kind of upset about it. They're, they're discouraged that you are happy and they don't like it. They, they're jealous, they are frustrated and it could be an ex, um, I don't know, but I do see some of you moving. Um, I do see a lot of peace and um, yin and yang energy a positive negative you guys are going to be equal and you're going to have that um, feeling of peace um, but then I do see working hard um, working hard to have the the family whole family feeling you know as in um, peace and love and happy happy relationship and family not just relationship but within the whole family I see uh, uh, some of you might be feeling a little bored this year kind of like well is this really what I wanted you know maybe maybe not like I I want this but then yet I kind of don't you know but I do see somebody else watching you and they're watching to make sure like they're watching you um, create what you want and they're upset about it. I do see that at the end of the year you might have a little trouble with money um, but I do see a new beginning, a new passion, um, but I do feel like a lot of you will have a new job at, at the end of the year too or through this year somewhere you're gonna have a new job and it's gonna be totally different than what you are used to. Something could be you guys could be starting your own business being entrepreneurs um, and I do feel like it's gonna be a learning experience for you it's not gonna be something that just you know comes up real quick but I do feel like it's going to flourish into something that you have been wanting to have Okay, so let's talk, let's see what love has for you for this year. Let's do love. What does Aries need to know about their love life for 2021? So uh, what I do want to explain to you, like I tell everybody else, is um, reading cards 
people, I also do use my intuition. Um, that's why I don't show my cards because some people are like, oh, well, that means such and such. And that, well, yeah, it does mean every card means something, but it also talks to each person. Like my deck of cards talks to me and everybody else's deck of cards talks to them, if that makes any sense. So I feel like, um, you know, that's my, my way of of, this is my way to, of reading and also is what I wanted to say about um, reading cards is that this is the energy that we have for right now so energy for right now is what the cards are reading now energy can change for each person individually it can make you can do one thing and it can change your energy for you know this year um, and if this does not resonate with you, you can always go watch your moon, sun, or rising, whichever one this is not. But what does Aries need to know for love for the year 2021? Okay. Love. For 2021. Aries, love for 2021. Okay, so for some of you, I just want to say that there is something coming towards you that you have been waiting for, a relationship, or maybe this is, you're already in a relationship, but it's about to go to the next level, and it's starting to be exactly what you're, you've been wanting. Whatever it is that's coming towards you, it is exactly what you have been wishing for. So it could be a new relationship for some of you. It can be just the same relationship, just going to a next level. Um, and then I do see happiness. Um, I do see a lot of life and excitement and joy, celebration, um, outdoors. I do see a lot of outdoor activity. Um, I do see someone here that is very, mm, well, this girl is a person, a female here, and she's a person that really knows what she wants, when she wants it, and how she wants it. She's very precise on everything. Um, this card also represents a nurse to me, but it doesn't have to be a nurse. But she's a woman who is very precise on everything she wants, and she knows exactly what she wants and how she wants it. So this could pertain to some, somebody as, um, for you, you need to be more strong willed and be more precise on what you know to create something that you need if that makes any sense so for some of you um don't be so wishy-washy be more of okay this is what i want and make sure that it's very clear in your relationship um or if you're not in a relationship then you need to understand okay what kind of person do i want i want a person that is um, very strong willed or I want a very uh, a person that works I want a person that is very loving in a relationship I want somebody that is has a lot of self-control whatever it is just know that that's what you want and go for it stick to it though if you find somebody that isn't that that away then it's time to move to the next one and then you 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 just got to know and be very honest with yourself okay because if you're not honest with yourself then you can't be honest with others so make sure that you're honest with yourself okay but i believe that a lot of you will be very happy in life for this year in your relationship i see that actually you have no bad cards not saying that relationships aren't ever bad because a relationship is always working the whole um meaning of a relationship is working with each other um, it takes two though to work together to make a relationship if two of you are not working then it is not a relationship it is a one-man band um, so um, I do feel like your relationships will be very well this this year a lot of you might be moving or going somewhere to meet someone or maybe going on road trips with your lover um, I do see a lot of uh, new feelings as well new beginning new feelings that are being presented to you some of you might be getting married some of you might be getting engaged um, and I feel like 
you're going to feel very kingly, very royal this year um, within your relationship. So um, some of you that might do magic, I see a lot of magic as well. Two cards that are magical that could represent you making magic appear. Um, I do see that next year at the end of the year will be more about, which I feel like every December is as well. I just feel like a December month is about going in and re, re um, assessing who you are and, and looking for that light that's within us. Because um, this month is, a, is December is a month of um, you want to spend with family and friends. That's the gift of of December. It isn't the presents that are wrapped under the tree, the diamonds, the coats, the rings, the cars, the necklaces, the the money. It's not about that. The gift of December is about what really is in life, and it is about the family that we do have and the people that do love us and the people that do matter to us and the people that are that are going to share life with your life with that's what it is and recessing who we are is a good good way to end the year and to say okay this is who i am and this i need to change and this i could do a little better on and this is what i need to do so i feel like the december is about searching the soul and searching what what you can do for the next year this coming year to create a better you because i feel like each year is each day you're sh you should strive to be the better person you were um that a better person than what you were yesterday you know so i believe that um you guys will have a really good uh relationship it looks like a lot of wishes coming true something coming towards you some of you getting married maybe engaged um traveling I, I, it feels like it is going to be a pretty good year for love for 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 you guys all right then um that is my reading for uh aries 2021 thank you for coming to watch deuces